So we'll go back to one of the designs we considered um, earlier this morning and here we're trying to assess. Uh, it's a two-way design, two-factor design where we're trying to assess the effects of a treatment, active treatment chlorum, and we want to look at the effect of the strain of mice as well. We've got different objectives. We want to see the effect of the treatment, the effect of the strain, and then we might also want to ask, um, does the treatment affect the strains individually? So the important thing there is that we need the right number of mice on both strains. We do the calculation in just the same way, come up with, we need 20 mice, but it's important to note if we want to look at the effect within each of the two strains of mice, we need 20 mice in all of the four groups, so for each of the treatments within each strain. So same calculation, it's just you need it for both of the different strains of mice. So that's what we'd have, 20 per group for 90% power. To detect here, we've got 0.4 difference in white blood cell counts, so we've got a smaller difference than we had before. And that would be needed to detect an interaction in the um, effective treatment between the strains as well.